Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create curved roadmap in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The curved roadmap you will learn to create today looks like this. You can see that there is a start position and there is an end position. And on a click, you will see the various milestones along the journey. And this beautiful curved roadmap is entirely created using PowerPoint and it's very easy to create as well. Let me show you how to create this beautiful graphic from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to the Home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I'm going to pick up the tool called Block Arc. So that is the tool I'm going to use, Block Arc. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hold the Shift button down as I create the Block Arc. So this is the shape that we are going to play with and this is going to form our curved roadmap. I'm going to click on this yellow handle here and if I need, I can always make the road slightly uh, wider. Now that this is done, the next step is to create that uh, dotted line here. So that is the separator for this road. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I'm going to pick up this tool called as Arc Tool. I'm going to hold the Shift button down as I draw the arc shape. Now I can change the color of uh, the shape outline to white so it is visible. And I'm going to click on this yellow handle here and make it into a proper semicircular form. Then I'm going to hold the shift button down as I select both the arc and the block arc. And I'm going to go to arrange, align and say align center. Then arrange, align and align middle. So that is how we create this uh, road with the divider. Now I see that this is not exactly in the center. I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag across the corner. That allows me to expand the size of uh, the arc while maintaining the central position to be here in the center. So that is a very simple but useful trick whenever you want to work with um, expanding the shapes. Let me show you how it is done once more. I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag to adjust whether I want to make it smaller or uh, bigger. Now that it is done, I'm going to change the thickness of this particular outline. So let us go to weight and say six points. I can always change the nature of the line by going to the dashes option here and by choosing this one called as square dot option. Now that this is done, I'm going to select the block arc and go to shape fill and choose a darker color so that resembles the color of the road and I'm going to remove the outline. Now we have one arc of the road. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to press Ctrl G to group. Then I'm going to press Ctrl D which is the shortcut for duplicate. Then let us go to arrange, go to rotate and say flip vertical. And I'm going to place this right next to the previous one. And this is uh, where you can actually see that both the hemispheres touch each other on one of the edges. Now you can see that there is a slight bit of aberration in terms of how these two roads merge. Now I'm going to do a little bit of adjustment. And if required, I can always select this particular arc and make sure that I do the small adjustments. I can select here for the next one and I can do a little bit of adjustment like this. It is completely left up to you to do this kind of uh, minor tweaks till the time you are happy with the result. So now the curvature is more or less aligned. Now that this is done, I am going to select both of them together. It looks like they are properly aligned but still for good order's sake, let us align both of them to align top. Then I'm going to press Ctrl G to group uh, this entire thing now. I'm going to make a copy of this by holding the Ctrl button down. I'm going to click and drag this shape to its new location. Yeah, that is perfect. Now let us select this, go to Arrange, Align and say Align Top. 
Now once again I'm going to do the small little adjustment. So I'm going to make it go down here and let us take this one and do a little bit of adjustment. Yep, I think it is pretty much the way I wanted it. Now we have a beautiful curved roadmap ready. I can always write my text here which indicates start, stop and then I can create the flag here to indicate various milestones. And it's very easy to create that flag. All you need to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the line tool and draw a straight line while holding the shift button. That ensures that the line is uh, vertical. Give it a black color, increase the weight. Then go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Flowchart, you will find this particular tool called as Flowchart Punched Tape. And then you click and expand the punch tape and that looks like a flag. You can always change the color to suit your requirement. Remove the outline, select everything together, press Ctrl G to make it a group. Then go to Shape Effects, go to Shadow and under Perspective use this one called as Perspective Diagonal Upper Right. Now we have the flag readily available. You can always place this uh, along the roadmap. I'm going to hold the control button down as I place this to the next location. Then I'm going to click and drag while holding the control button. And then I'm going to do the same operation again. Now I have four milestones along the roadmap. So that is how we create the curved roadmap in PowerPoint. You can always animate these milestones by selecting each of these elements while holding the shift button down and go to animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon, click on float in option, go to effect options and say float down and then make the duration to be 0.5 seconds and finally go to start and say on click and then go to slideshow mode. On the first click, you have the first milestone coming up, the second, the third, and the final one. So that is how you create the curved roadmap with animation. Now I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our complete trainers bundle where we have a number of curved roadmaps. The first example is this one which shows five events along the journey. On a click I have the first event shown, then the second event, third, fourth and the final one. So this is a beautiful curved roadmap you can use in your training presentations. This is another example of a curved roadmap with six key milestones. On a click, I have the first milestone, second, third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth milestone. And the final example is this one, which shows a curved roadmap with a very beautiful animation. On a click, I have the various milestones uh, coming here along the curve in a very beautiful way, then I can always bring each of these uh, elements on a click. So you can see that the milestones are very beautifully explained with animation. So that is how you create curved roadmap graphic with animation. To give you a quick snapshot of complete trainers bundle, it is a collection of 4022 premium PowerPoint templates that help you to create professional looking training slides in a matter of minutes. All the templates in the collection are created using our proprietary Neuro slide design system, which uses cutting edge neuroscience principles to create PowerPoint slides that engage and retain the audience's attention. Whether you want to visualize flows, components, concepts and metaphors, cause and effect, number slides and infographics, models and frameworks, timelines and roadmaps, any kind of slide type that you want to make your training presentations meaningful, you will find them ready-made available in Complete Trainers Bundle. You can find more details about Complete Trainers Bundle by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to Complete Trainers Bundle in the description area below this video. Before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? then please click here and sign up for a fun seven day email course. It's a totally free course. And if you're a trainer or a course creator, you will love the content of this email course. I'll see you inside the course.